In this video, I'm going to introduce you to how your micro can begin to build interfaces by itself. Now up to this point, we've created our interface switches, buttons, text boxes, and so forth with macros using the object editor and the macro builder here. Now I'm going to show you how to do it directly from your micro. What I'm about to show you has broad implications in how you can begin to program your micro to build MakerPlot interfaces using the same serial port that you use to send analog and digital data to MakerPlot. And with this capability, you'll be able to get a brand new level of understanding of how MakerPlot works and also how you can make interfaces for your users and yourself that don't involve first loading a complete interface macro from your PC. Instead, it will come directly from your micro, or at least a portion of it will. So let's get started. First of all, let's take a look at what we want to do. Here is our basic block diagram of our Arduino interface builder. Now we're using our Arduino Uno and we're going to use the potentiometer connected to it at A0 for adjusting an analog value between 0 and 1023. We're not going to use the switches or the LED, but rather we're going to move data from the Arduino to MakerPlot such that we can first set up the controls that we want on our interface and then we're going to send the potentiometer value continuously to MakerPlot so that it adjusts this particular control which is going to be an LED bar graph. Okay, let's come back to our interface and bring up our object editor and macro builders. And as we see in our My Interface, there is an area down here. It's a rectangular area just below the second meter. It kind of begs for something to be put into it. So let's start by putting in a couple of controls. And the controls I have in mind are a label and an image holder. And the image holder in this case is going to be a red LED bar graph. So let's start by coming up and grabbing our label. We're going to left click on it and we'll drag it down here to the area and release it. And we notice the name is LBL83. So we want to change that to pot value. So come down here in the object editor and change that to pot value. Get the enter key and now we see that our label is changed to pot value. We can also adjust the position of it. Click on the left or top box and push your shift key down and use your arrow keys to kind of fine tune it in. Okay, that's about right. The next thing we're going to do is grab an image holder, grab the image holder and release it. And we can adjust that as well with the arrow keys. Now you might be asking yourself, why are you putting objects on the interface. Isn't this supposed to be from the micro? Yes, it is. But what we want to do first is we want to be able to find out where these particular objects are going to be placed on MakerPlot. And of course, we need to know that before we actually do it. So once we've placed the objects, which we have right now, let's come over to the Macro Builder. And we notice we're in the Objects Code section. So let's click on the Update from Current Settings. And this will get these two latest controls into the Objects area for us. And since they were the last two controls, they're at the very bottom. And what we want to do is we want to grab these two controls. That would be LBL83. And it looks like it's LBL, or rather LBAR underscore 84 for the bar. So let's grab those. And we're going to do a right click with our mouse and copy them. Then we'll come over to our Arduino IDE. And I've already set up a piece of code for this. And it's a pretty simple piece of code and we'll go into that in a second. But since we're here, we're going to get into the, into the loop. Excuse me, we're going to get into this setup area. Make some room. And then we'll do a right click with the mouse and then we'll do a paste. 
So now we've pasted in the complete information for those two controls into our Arduino IDE setup. To send this information to Makerplot, all we need to do on each line is just do a serial print line, and that should do it. So I'm going to take a break here and do that, and then we're going to come back and see it when it's all done. Okay, now we're back. Let's take a look at the code that we have generated. As you see, what I've done here is I have put in a serial dot print line, which appends a carriage return to each one of these lines. And I've enclosed each one of the lines that we copied and pasted to the Arduino setup in quotes so that it just simply sends out text information to Makerplot via the uh, serial link. So that's in our setup, and that's going to only be done once. That's going to position the label and it's, the label is going to be pot value, as we see here. And it's going to have a font of uh, Arial uh, 8 points. And then we're going to send out the image for the LED bar graph, starting with the uh, horizontal red 0 GIF, which is basically no LEDs illuminated. Now we'll come down to our loop. And our loop is pretty simple, too. What it's going to do is simply read the sensor value, which is the analog input pin. And it's then going to print the sensor value. That's going to be our analog value that we're going to print out. And that's going to range from 0 to 1023. And then here's the code we added. What the code is going to do is basically divide up the label for the horizontal bar graph and it's going to start with bar underscore horizontal underscore red underscore and then we're going to put in the sensor value again that can be 0 to 1023 and we're going to divide that by 102 and this is kind of a crude way of doing it but we're going to divide this by 102 since we only have 10 bars we want to be able to display a 0 to 1023 value in a bar by bar sequence. We need to divide this value by 102 so that we have 10 equal bar values going from 0 to 1023. So there's the value and then we're going to append the dot GIF to it and then we're just going to send off another carriage return line just for good measure. The comment says wait 100 milliseconds before the next loop, but I want to delay 1,000 milliseconds. I want to show you what's going to happen in the Arduino serial terminal. All right, let's verify that everything works. Come up here and we click on our verify check mark. It's compiling the sketch. And looks like we're just about there. So let's upload it to our Arduino Uno. Okay, we're there, and let's come into the Tools section, come into the Serial Monitor, and there we go. So what we're doing is we're putting out first the analog value, which in this case is 0 to begin with. Then we're putting out the code for the LED bar graph. And as I adjust the potentiometer, you'll notice that the analog number changes and also the number for the actual LED control changes as well from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 as I'm moving up. Clear up here to 10. Coming back down, we go right back to 0. So it looks like our setup is working. So let's click out of the tool section here Let's come back to our interface. And just to make sure that we're doing everything copacetically, let's reload our interface just to make sure that everything is cleared up. We come over here to Macros. Come down here and say Run Startup Macro. And let our macro rebuild. Okay, there we go. Now what we can expect when we click our rocker switch down here is that the Arduino code will take over and put those two controls where we place them 
in that rectangular area just below the second meter and its switches. So let's click on it now and find out what happens. Aha! There it is! Let's change our analog setting. And now we get one bar lit, second bar lit, third bar lit, and so forth. And now I'm off the scale, so let's change our y-axis. We'll double our y-axis and move our control back down again. So in effect, what we've done is we've actually used the micro to put the label pot value and also the LED bar graph on our interface. Now let's fine tune things a little bit. Let's make the update rate a little bit faster. So let's turn off our control here, which means we're going to disable our COM port. Come back to the Arduino setup. Change our delay from 1000 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds, as our comment says. And let us now re-upload that information to our Arduino Uno. All right, looks like it worked. Coming back to our interface, let's re-click on our control. And now we are updating at once every 100 milliseconds. And it looks like we're doing just fine. This is an interesting example of how you can use your micro to actually build controls on the interface itself. Now this is a minor example, of course, with just two controls, a label and an LED bar graph. But nevertheless, if you have the space in your micro's memory, you can actually build this entire interface directly from your micro without any macros whatsoever. So this is just one way of doing it, and I'm sure that you'll figure out other ways that are even more exciting to do once you really get into learning how MakerBot works and how you can actually begin to experiment around with it like we're doing now.